Welcome back, everyone. Now, a fabulous food platter always adds a little touch of elegance to any gathering. And if you're at a party, chances are everybody's standing around that beautiful cheese board that you just saw. So here showing us top tips for entertaining like a pro is food stylist extraordinaire and really artiste, I would like to say, thank Meg you. Quinn. Welcome to our home. Thank, you. Thank you for having me. I mean, you me. are oh. amazing. Honestly, we are all so obsessed with, are they called thank charcuterie you. boards? Yeah. I think that's what they're <laughs> called fancy. for fancy. See, as you can see, Cam has already started digging in. I am He's so beat impressed. Maria to the punch. <gasps> and that that never happens. happens. <laughs> and Larissa is excited as yes. well. This is something else. Thank you. Making Thank it just a plain old cheese board is, you know, it's not that difficult. But what you do, you really elevate the process. How did this all come about? So I love to entertain, mm -hmm. but I am not necessarily the best cook. Which I heard someone over <laughs> here could <laughs> maybe relate <laughs> to that. Oh, I don't know. Someone God. told that. me. Hurts my ego a little. She watches the show. <laughs> He's getting really good. He's okay, great okay, on the we'll, grill now. we'll learn I'm, together. I'm just improving, is the way I like to say it. Okay, same. Um, okay. But until then, <laughs> I like to serve cheese boards because they're beautiful and they require no cooking, and guests get really excited when they see them. You bring this out and everyone's like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they do that when they see your cheese boards because your Thank cheese you. boards are second Thank to you. none. Thank they you. really are just beautiful and vibrant mm -hmm. and just bountiful. So it's a cornucopia you. of, of <laughs> a cornucopia of her. I'm gonna use that I'm line. just gonna keep talking. So it starts with ramekins. Yeah, That's so very I important. Always place the ramekins first. Now these guys, the cornichons and the olives, mm. they have brine in them, so it's good to separate it so it doesn't like leak onto mm -hmm. everything else. Okay. Then. Honey, this is what makes it real fancy, is it's a nice, Ooh. sweet complement to any salty cheese. Nice, and, and this is a nice touch. It is, it's good for an Instagram boomerang, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. You can get that in. Okay, so let me tell you the general rule with cheeses. Right. A mix of hard and soft cheeses, so these are our soft ones, and then a mix of cow's milk, goat's milk, and sheep's milk, because you want different like tastes and texture. Okay. So the soft ones we already have on the board, but with the hard ones, we're gonna go ahead and pre-cut it for our guests, because you don't want them like cutting down on the board. Oh, it's so difficult. It, like a grapes fly. And then you always feel so awkward when you're trying to have a conversation with someone, you have the cheese <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. and, and you're in like a fancy dress, totally. and maybe that's just me, and they look at me like, wow, <laughs> totally. she's aggressive. No, yeah, we, we don't need you to look like that, so okay. we've got Got that there, and then the next step, okay, this is a very affordable cheddar, cow's okay. milk cheese. It doesn't look all that appetizing, right? So we're gonna make it fancy and we're gonna make some crumbles. And it's so simple, you just take your knife, it can be a, it could be a uh, steak knife or whatever, okay. and you just put it in and twist. That's put it? it in and twist, it's so, oh. super simple. Okay. You crumble off, and we already have a bunch here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put them around the cornichons here. Oh my goodness. And Again, making it look out. like art. Exactly, it makes it artisanal, like fakes people out, because that's a really cheap piece of cheese, but we're <laughs> you know. It's one of my favorite. Oh but my it's, gosh. It's a cheaper one. That somehow sounds like an insult. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. All right, so we've got our hard cheese. We have our cheap cheese. We won't tell anyone because you won't be able to tell. No. Now we have to put our crackers around yes. all of okay. this. Okay, so here's the trick with the crackers. I mean, you can have a whole nother platter with crackers, but I like to fan them out around the ramekin. See how it like, makes it look a little bit fancy? They're not all bunched together, all right. but people like it's inviting for people. Sure. So and I like that you have a, a selection of crackers, not the same kind. Yes, thank you okay. for noticing. Yeah, these are um, these are more like water crackers. They're plain. They can go with a more robust cheese, and then this is a more robust cracker that can go with like a brie or something like that. And the way you have fanned them out, again, display is everything. Would you fan out anything else? Yes. Oh, so I do dessert boards as well. We Ooh. do themed boards. Oh. And so, like for instance, on a dessert board, what you want to do is you want to take your cookies oh, wow. and like oh. put them around a chocolate dip, and then you can put them in. Oh, yes. There we July Fourth is coming up, so it's not just cheese boards. We can do dessert boards. You can do candy boards. You can. Oh, do there's your fanned boards. out cookies. Oh, wow. Yeah, right around there. Those little yeah. So, oh my goodness! All right, it's like so a dream come true. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Your dreams are coming true here at home. Oh, it's our fantasy. Then we put our fruit. Yes. We start to fill in with all the fruit. Because this right here is tasty enough, but honestly, you need some color to bring it to life. I there had to we have go. one of those. Everyone's you. enjoying. So here are some raspberries. Oops, we just, that's fine. So I'm gonna give you these guys and Blue maybe berries. just put them right here next to By the, the raspberries? raspberries. Yeah, and okay. what you wanna do is you wanna, and your job is halfway done if you go to the, um, excuse me, to the grocery store and you pick out beautiful produce, right? Just make sure it's unbruised, looks nice, that's beautiful. Debbie, you're doing such a good job. One for me, one um, for the board. I mean, she's uh, eating half of them, but that's <laughs> all. That's totally but I fine. also love how 
There's a method to the madness, but it also just looks as if, as if the it fruit is just happens. pouring yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very bountiful. So you can use dried fruit as well. So for instance, like if persimmons are in season and, um, Gosh, and so the citrus is in season, we're just putting that in. Okay. Now what about these beautiful... Oh. Um, Thank you. Put those on top of the blueberries. It makes the blueberries pop because they're kind of dark. Pomegranates. And I do everything for Instagram. So like on Instagram, if something's too dark in the photo, you just put those persimmons in there. Or should, excuse me, not persimmons. Pomegranates. pomegranates should I do this as well yeah. over here? There are no the blackberries? rules. Even though I say rules, like it's like you can break them. It's whatever looks good <laughs> to you. So really just fill it in. Yeah, fill it in. And then of in. course we have to add the meat. And you have a very... um. You have a great way of displaying all the meat. If it's not just the cut salami, yes. you actually kind of make a little flour. Yeah, so I'm gonna put the cut salami. This is salami sechi. It's already already prepared for us. Now the thing to note is that, you know, again, different textures. Um, so this is the hard one. Now the soft one, now you probably know this, is that when you go and you buy salami, it looks like this, right? Yes. It looks, that's like, you're not taking much care for your guests. So all you have to do is super simple. You take one. Okay. I'll take one. And you make a salami flour. So we're going to oh. fold it once. Salami flour. Fold it again. Oh, that looks so much better. Oh. It makes I it look fancy, right? Oh, it a doesn't. rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Exactly. And there we can, or oh, <laughs> there she loves them. So, um, so we already have some pre-done. And you just put them in there, snuggle them in. We do this. I'll not put it here? Sure, why not? Okay. We put them, um, we put them in there because... You know, we wouldn't want to do it at first because then the flowers will like unfold. So you just okay. put them in. Okay. And then finally, last but not least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fill it in with the stuff that really takes it to the next level. Yes. Okay. So I'll give you these guys. Okay. So salty nuts or like walnuts, Marcana almonds are a little bit fancy. These got rosemary on them. Um, nice salty complement with the cheeses. And you want to fill in all the holes because the goal is to make it like really abundant, right? It's like people are going to come and be impressed. Oh my goodness. I'm spilling That's okay. berries. We have a beauty wild. over there people can look at. Now, here are the other specialty yeah. items. We have dark chocolate. Oh my gosh, if the dark chocolate is extra, so brilliant. We are available. Girl, I got you. Um, so dark chocolate, and then this is cherry paste, which is what really is nice. cherry paste? Oh yeah, it's like a jelly. Goes perfect mm. with like, you know, any of the cheeses. It's all about that salt, sweet, acid combo. Um, and then, here, let me give oh. you guys my favorite tip, okay? What it's, about the figs? We don't want to forget those. Well, that's part of the tip. It's oh, the garnish. Goodness. It's the garnish. So, um, what I you want to do... I do, too. So good. So, these are dried figs, because um, fresh figs are just coming oh. in season. You know, it's just about, like, making a little bit of art. We're going to put oh. some rosemary there. We're going to put the figs like that. And what you want to do is, again, fill in all the holes. And this is what takes it to the next level. It adds texture. It adds color. It's, like, straight from the your garden, garden, right? Yeah. Like, so you just pretty. pick this up. Like, you just throw this together. just build it, too. Mm -hmm. Meg, this like, you use Stunning. You Abs took go ahead, Deb. you took a canvas and you turned <laughs> it into a work of art. There you go. Thank you guys. I oh, mean, so oh my fun. goodness, look this at that. Amazing. I want to say quickly, I know your Instagram is full of absolutely unbelievable cheese boards like this, but one of the Thank things you. that I love about what you do is is you really emphasize with your social media trying to create a mm. sense of community yes. with everybody. Tell mm. us about that. Well, it's super important, and it's been like literally the greatest joy is that I'll create something and then someone yeah. like actually recreates it. And then they're like super proud of it. They post it. They use my hashtag, ain't too proud to cheese. I love that. <laughs> we, we all ain't too proud to cheese. And then I get to share them too. And what's even better is that people create something even more creative than what I did. And then it inspires me right back to create Aww. something else. It's amazing. So you're going to make one and tag me, I hope. I'm going to make one of these and I'm going to tag you. And I'm, my, my wife's mind will be blown. Aww. <laughs> you can do it. She will you be can blown totally away. do it. I mean that. I really do.